we should look after our planet and our environment, whatever that means, yeah, to what aspect. But I think the whole climate change is a massive business as well. So Why do you only get to choose between those shit things and those shit things? Sometimes the boats in the water were on fire. Just randomly, weren't they? Yeah. How did the boats get yeah. on fire? No way. In the sea. Archimedes with the mirrors. He was the first creator of. Um, to oh, he's gonna I'm gonna get that book. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you know that day. <laughs> Please tell me you're fact checking that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Ben from Educating Idiots. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate your support. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So what's everyone turned out to be? Am I right? Three and two. I think I'm yeah, right. you're right. <laughs> You've gone left. Okay. But no one knows where you are. He's an up and a down. Yeah, he's, he's, up and down. Down. he's still in the house. He's, he's, he's done it again. I've always been. <laughs> See? No matter like how much you try. I start, you just, I start. You was so. confident at the start of that as well, that you was going to find out. I am confident. Out. I am confident. It does draw you in for the first sentence. And right. then after that, you're like, where's this going? Yeah. <laughs> where's he going? You watch it back and you go, okay. fucking hell. Okay. Wow. In general, then, are we in support of the climate policy and making sure that we're putting things in place to keep us oh. safe from climate change? Um, or yes, do you but think that can it's be a load of bollocks. And do you think that we shouldn't be doing anything because there's nothing we can do about it? I sit in the middle with it. Yeah, so do I. I think I that what you just said at the start can be manipulated. Mm. So, yes, we should look after our planet and our environment, whatever that means, yeah, to what aspect. But I think the whole climate change is a massive business as well. So there's an element of, are they using it as a bit of an excuse yeah. to generate fact, a load the of dollars? With solar now and anything to do with renewable energy, so countries in, in America are buying up land in Texas and they're covering it with solar panels, basically taking away farmland to create solar. But the problem with, with that is the components all come from China and China yes. have got the complete um, say-so on, on any kind of manufacturing of it, yeah. and monopoly. So America are buying loads of solar panels. The problem with the solar panels on the, on the land as well is there's, they're not... Uh, when, the, when the sun isn't as... So when it's hot, basically, they don't generate as much solar, but they wreck more people's lives and the, the carbon footprint and the fact that the components that they have to make melt and get used up, especially with the turbines... They get they get basically up that quick that it's they've done tests on it within ten years it would take more to sort of make them back and, and so it's a contradiction it's a full contradiction mm -hmm. and they're robbing money from the governments to get it done and taking farmland all over America and making it into renewables to try and get the tax breaks rather than what's good for them people I think it's something like sixty percent of the world still hasn't got running electricity proper electric to their homes yet they're trying to create more solar in places where they've got electric why don't they just and Within these places where there's no electric or where there's more solar towns where they're just relying on solar, people are going around with generators and there's now a generator mafia that come and <laughs> lend you a generator. You know what I mean? So Because the electric's so expensive. So people are going back to the old... So what way. you're saying is they're pushing climate change, but it's actually getting worse with what they're pushing. Yeah, the yeah. things that they're pushing aren't saving the climate, they're making money. I think you could, could combine your two statements, you know, the two statements you had into one. Because I believe both ends of it. Yeah, I think yeah. it's an element of yeah. we do need in the to middle. Middle. Yeah, in the middle. Up it and is down. literally in the middle of that. I've got fucking splinters up my arsehole. That's how much in the middle I am on <laughs> Because I just don't think that they know what they I just think they send open my point to this whole thing is every one of them are open ended. Why do you only get to choose between those shit things and those shit things? Or 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 things that they're not gonna do. Why you gotta gotta vote on false promises, which is why I've never really got interested in it. Because they are false promises and they're not really tackling any issues. They're just wording things differently so people like me get confused and go. And as long as red, people aren't blue. engaged and as long as people aren't engaged, they can keep getting away with it. Yeah, agreed. So Which is why I need to be engaged. You need to be, we all need to be engaged. <laughs> yeah. And people want to but we listen, everybody wants to moan about the government. Mm. They want to moan about what they do, the taxes they put on us, whether it's um, COVID and control. But nobody really wants to do anything about it. Most people do they. Do you know what I mean? So at least being engaged with it is is one step in the right direction. If everybody was on it, if everybody engaged in, in the whole political system, they could not get away with what they're getting away with. Yeah. I, I, and that's the frustrating part. Yeah. Why don't they make it more interesting then? Yeah. I was just about to say that because we all sat mean? here with a judgment on the government, mm. me included. But how much I only go on what hearsay is, and we all do, we all have made comments down on hearsay. None of us actually sit down and watch 
you know, the, the, the politics. Of the House of Parliament. And see actually what's going on and go into it. So for us to make comments and say the government aren't taking care of, aren't looking at... Do you know what I mean? Who we we're hypocritical, yeah, yeah. We're hypocritical yeah. because mm. we're not even really looking to it. We haven't got any vast knowledge on it. You don't watch House of Parliament on TV. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> you guys, are you they guys fall crazy? Asleep, they fall asleep in it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to watch something that the person that are there are asleep. I'm not going to watch that because they don't well, want to watch it. it. Yeah, they, but they, what they do is they put that on social media to wind yeah. everybody up. Do you know why they're well, Do they sleep? Yeah, do you know why? To why? keep it a private club. Wait a minute. No, no. They will be called down to their constituency up in Manchester yep. or wherever it is, yep. right? On yep. an urgent business yep. to get a policy through to the meeting the following day. Okay. So the House of Commons or the House of Lords, they, they need to put something through. We need all 50 of you, like and your team, to get down here and we're up all through the night. And we get everything finished and we get the policy through the hearing and the Lords take it. And this big document that's been written by a massive team of people behind the scenes all through the night. Mm -hmm. And the MP will go and sit there and listen to whoever he's, he's, it's come onto the agenda or it's being heard or if it passes. The guy probably hasn't slept for 24 to 48 hours. So he nods off in oh, a very, oh. very quiet and kind oh, of boring He's had a pace. massive fuck off sesh with all of the fucking lads up there. Yeah, maybe. He's gone there and they've just gone, what's this? Oh, yeah. bins out on a Thursday. Yeah. Fuck off. Yeah, well, like, you, <laughs> right? but, okay, and then but, he's <laughs> gone, right, let's get fucking, get bang amongst it. <laughs> And then that guy's like, oh, I've just come up from Manchester. Fuck it. They're all getting absolutely rat arse. And he's like, ah, I'll sleep anyway through it. Yeah. That sounds amazing. Um, <laughs> that'd be wicked if it was like that, to be fair. Wow. It'd be a bit interesting, wouldn't it? No, because that's what but you've the reality done. That's it. not what he's <laughs> yeah. done. That's that. what you've done. Won't, won't I don't out. Looked at and he's like, oh, he's been on a mad bender. <laughs> the reality is, the reality is it's likely how to be the reason. How do you know? Because that's just a known thing of how politics, politicians and politics work. How do you know? Where's the evidence? Well, you could go down there and um, I think I've got go more talk evidence. to yourself. I think I've got more evidence of them partying than you have of them not partying. No, you haven't. You've got a couple of um, accounts during COVID. I love it when he, when he, protect, <laughs> when he gets protected over politics. I'm not getting protected. Leave them alone. I'm not getting protected. <laughs> they're, yeah. they're the party. Listen. <laughs> they're thinking about us all the time. No, I didn't believe that. That's I didn't believe that at all. Does that Sorry, sound like me? No, no. My, my kid, I, don't. I didn't believe them. I didn't believe them. I'm just giving you a, a, an argument to, when you say something like, oh, they I fall agree. asleep. You well, are, here's, yeah. a, here's really an opposing um, uh, situation. It might be that. It might not be. You're right. But it might be that. Mm. You've always got to think twice, haven't you? <laughs> you have. Thank you, mate. Think twice. You just got a wink then. It's nice. I wink back at him. Oh, Did wow. Did you get a wink? Double oh, wink. Yeah. He was shut up. I've seen wink. it. Yeah. It was a shut up wink. I've seen it before. <laughs> oh, is it a different kind of tech? <laughs> yeah, like... yeah. Just like, shut up then. <laughs> <laughs> Leave my politics alone. Yeah. I've had my segment right. now. I've had my segment. Well, this is... <laughs> oh, you haven't? Oh, God. No. Oh. <laughs> we were doing out of politics now. I was talking about climate yeah. change. But yeah. I was also... I want Because you, you talk, we're talking about... Um, whether it's right or wrong what they're doing. But according to lots of reports, there are some people seriously suffering as a result of climate mm. policy, climate change, mm. such as the fires in Maui. Mm. Are we all up to date with what's happened in Maui? I've seen bits of it, yeah. Uh, the, the WhatsApp Ben sent the other day, as what I've seen. Which one was that? Uh, where they say that they're being... So, I mean, once oh, again, the beams. We, all, we all laughed at my prior, I get all my information off TikTok, but I'm being shown a lot of things <laughs> off TikTok. So I don't think anyone else is any better. But uh, this guy with a floating face on this thing saying, Maui, people are being evicted. I always look at those things and think, how, how much am I trusting that guy floating in a green screen? But apparently they're getting evicted because of lays. Well, there's two stories. There's been fires. And then now they're saying that they're getting evicted because of laser from space. Like I've said before, has been aimed at them and uh, blew up there. Yeah, but that, they're not telling them that's why they're a victim, and, and, is it? No, they're not. Well, they, they're obviously, they obviously wouldn't say that in the letter, but they've seen the laser <laughs> outside the window. No, I think that's wrong. They, this, this apparently <laughs> fires, these yeah. fires on houses, yeah. and this a lot of houses that got damaged, and these ones that didn't get damaged, and blue. the ones that didn't get damaged, they're now being evicted. But the, one, but the, the oh. theory is that it's not. Random fires. It's a massive beam that the government. That's just probably. I mean, that's that's probably fake again. Um, Which bit? All of it. All of it is every part. Well, I think I think the, I, I haven't seen the fires for myself, so I hope no one. Oh, the hurt. fires are real. They're yeah, definitely. Yeah. The fires so, are definitely happening. But then once again, the internet took it and then shot a few photos and said that it's been lasered from space. But what they're saying is Project Blue Beam or or um, what's Project Blue Beam? So basically, this laser can uh, the color blue. Uh, won't be affected. So there was like a, there were lots of pictures coming out with all the cars burnt, 
apart from a blue one that's completely untouched. Oh, I ain't seen that theory. Yeah, yeah. There's a couple of houses. There was a, a load of umbrellas yeah. next to a pool. And it's blue. particularly the colour that hasn't been touched. Uh, well, yeah, but you don't know if what the video you're watching is the real video. Yeah, yeah. The and blue, the problem, blue bag from now. Vegas yeah. just walking around. Well, the interesting thing about it is that the Maui County officials have claimed. So the officials have come out and said there has been intentional and malicious mismanagement of the power lines by Hawaiian Electric, the state's leading utility, had allowed flames to spark. So they're saying that it's actually, it is a malicious act. That's what's caused the fire. Who released that statement? Uh, it just says Maui County officials, so like from their mayor's office. Wow. So 110 people dead, 380 people still missing. This was about three or four days ago. Um, but hundreds of videos circulating showing the internet that the signs of other causes was not consistent with wildfires. So such as the boats in the water were on fire. Mm. Just randomly, weren't they? Yeah. How did the boats yeah. catch on fire? Mm. No way. In the sea. Yeah, it's just... Yeah. Uh, there's, a, you know, there's videos of... Um, Vegetation uh, untouched next to cars that have been melted into yeah. the tarmac. I think Elon uh, Musk uh, just lent on his <laughs> death ray <laughs> on the big red button. Yeah, he's been, <laughs> he's been, tra he's been training, doing press ups, and he was like, just with his towel around his head, just struck in his head, <laughs> looking down at Earth from Mars. And just, Look at these fucking bell ends. Look at them batteries. Fucking none of them batteries. And he's just gone, oh, just put the towel down. <laughs> oh, shit. I like Hawaii. Oh, fuck. There goes my fucking pen. Oh, <laughs> Bastard. Oh, Bill Gates lives on there, though, so it's sound. Hopefully. Oh, missed him. Oh. His house is blue. Yeah, his house is fucking blue. He knew it. Forgot I told him when I was pissed up at a party. Get a blue house. <laughs> It'll save your life. I so didn't what, know about that blue theory. No, I didn't know. Mm. So basically, there is uh, this technology that apparently you can shoot lasers down. Uh, but I don't think it's for... Um, setting fires. I think the technology was actually for something else. They're saying it's for something good. Mm. I think the technology is acknowledged. Oh, yeah, the old... Uh, what, yeah. what you building that massive laser for? Don't worry. <laughs> it's all for good. <laughs> to look after Some you Some bloke with. walks in. <laughs> yeah, Elon, no, no, honestly, mate. <laughs> get back to Tesla. This is a fucking great <laughs> thing. You're going to love it. <laughs> Everyone Leave it with save us. Earth. <laughs> That's a trust thing, though, isn't it? Yeah. It's a trust it is, yeah. issue. <laughs> Yeah. Nobody knows what's right, what's <coughs> true and what's you know false. About Archimedes. The day after. Archimedes the... with the mirrors. He was the first creator of um, <laughs> heat to, to attack its enemies. Did you not know that? No, I didn't oh, know. No? I didn't know. Yeah. Created, wait, tell us more. He created a weapon on a, on a boat that had a lot of um, uh, mirrors on it and he <laughs> positioned a sun and he could burn other boats through it. Uh, when was that? Yeah, when was this? Um, I think it was... 1632. <laughs> you could have just said 15th, 16th right, century. It leads you in. <laughs> yeah. It has you, doesn't it? By the end of a string and then that's it. One day, though, I'm yeah, going to get it. It's going to come gonna get it. Yeah. Yeah. And you know that day? <laughs> Please tell me you're yeah. fact-checking that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you are, aren't you? Yeah. Archimedes. Archimedes on a boat. Was, um, he, was, he was an inventor, engineer, and Thank philosopher. You. Yep. Um, ancient Greek. Yep. Um... But not for the, the but reason. But I can't it's see. It's called Archimedes. Archimedes um, I think it might be. We put Archimedes' weapon. It'll come straight out. He's only built one. He's only good at one. Where, where did when and did the you... power and the uh, he, he made the, the claw uh... of Archimedes? Oh, I made a few actually. Um, <laughs> also known as Iron Hand, was an ancient weapon devised by Archimedes to defend the seaward portion of Sycorus's city wall against amphibious assault. Yeah. <laughs> but if you put mirrors in, yeah, mirrors, oh, oh, oh. mirrors, well, and the well, sun. Anyway. So what's come up? Is anything yeah. come up? Uh, yeah, no, I don't really know where we've gone with this. <laughs> so uh, we've, we've gained very interesting facts. Yeah, we have. Yeah. Yeah. But I'll be this. <laughs> Thanks for educating us. Yeah. So where did we go from there? Though? That's my problem. How did I we get the there? day after the fires. The yeah. day after the fires. Yes. The day after the fires. Yes. <laughs> the fires, lasers. How's that linked to that? Yeah. <laughs> no yeah. idea. Because they burn boats with mirrors. Archimedes. <laughs> oh, and there was boats on fire at sea. Ah, yeah. oh, it, oh, oh, lasers. Lasers. That's the only way that they burn on water. Done it again. It's <laughs> done oh. Yeah, well done, mate. Oh, you, it. It. Yeah, you, you are on fire. Thank you. Um, the, the middle part I've got to stop. The middle part. I, <laughs> yeah, get I think something. the start and the, the end. The end is there. Yeah. You it's go off. It's just weird tangent of a middle that I can yeah. sometimes I find my way back to my thought process. And here I am. I'm all yours. Look at the way he looked at you then. <laughs> the day after the fires, the people whose houses were still intact were getting phone calls to say, we want to Pay buy your house, house off you. <laughs> 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 they want to buy your land off you. They'll give it you at a cheap price, even the burnt down houses. Wow. And... Oh, so that's not eviction. That's an offer to buy it buy off Buy the land. Well. And also the house that is still intact. Who's buying Because the there's no resource around that. Everything's been burnt down. Uh, 
well, just random estate agency companies. Where's, but apparently where's, they're LLPs that are dying. Are, are, the, are these deprived areas where they like nice? Right, right. Right. Wherever right. Hawaii is then, that's where no one's going to die in the next 100 years. Are they deprived areas what? or... I, I, I'm, I'm unsure whether Maui is so, a deprived so area. possibly, they've got a laser in space. Mm. The elite have gone, right, where's going to go worse? The, oh, Hawaii, that's nice there as well. Okay. Elon? Yeah. <laughs> Coordinates, yeah, yeah, press it, yeah, that's it, that's it, yeah, not that house. I like what for, for what reason? <laughs> paint in blue, okay, we'll paint in blue, right? Okay, and then they've got all their houses all painted blue, and then Elon's still selling everyone electric cars, thinking he's, he's the man. You really do, um, think Elon's a part of the problem, don't you? Uh, no, not unless you think building huge lasers to shoot the earth is a problem. Are you not a Elon, Elon fan? Right, listen, why is Elon listen, Google, Google, Google this one fan. second. Google this. Fan. What, one minute, one minute. Elon I just remembered something. Laser? Listen, well, I've just remembered something. Right. <laughs> Google this, right. Uh, Boris Johnson. Google this. Google this. Boris Johnson came out through, me and my brother used to speak a lot through um, what, I'm Googling COVID. All that. No. <laughs> Boris Johnson and lasers, right. He did, in the middle of COVID, a, a speech saying we are spending £44 million on lasers. Yeah, I see it. I've seen that video, yeah. 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 What? Yeah. So lasers are being brought high end by governments. He's saying it in the news. And now there's reports of lasers. Yeah, but they're using, shot. they use lasers for all sorts of things, not just as weapons. Yeah, but why would he come up and say you got £44 million? It was for defence on lasers. That's what it was for. Was it a defence scheme, was it? Yeah. Boris Johnson basically put laser guns. Put... Laser guns. Yeah. That got that 16 got... billion. And... Yeah, but listen, don't miss the first part. Boris Johnson spends £44 million on laser guns. Pledges laser guns. Oh. What's he doing? Fucking going. Pledge at laser guns as he pumps extra 16.5 billion into 6. military. 16.5 billion lasers. 16. Fair, 16. Though, the government are that cheeky. They do put little snippets <laughs> yeah. out. Occasionally. Oh, and a couple it. of years later, it's, it's, it's Simpsons. Simpsons. They've buried Simpsons. it. They've buried it. Buried it. Buried yeah. Example. yeah, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> Our warships and combat vehicles will carry directed energy weapons, destroying targets with inexhaustible lasers. Yeah. For them, the phrase out of ammunition will become redundant, he told the Commons. Wow. wow. Laser wow. weapon. And, they, and lasers can be used in space. And there's a from space, space going yeah. on. Yeah, from but and space. in space. 19, it's one listen, of the only weapons that can be used in space. 19th of November, 2020. So nearly, nearly three years ago. There's still three, three years. Yeah. They drop little snippets yeah. and then things start happening, don't they? Wow. Listen, there is lasers about. So based on that, are we saying uh, Maui wildfires or Possibly. fucking weapons of lasers? That yeah, have done uh, it? The it's... Simpsons has predicted it as well. Yeah, There's a fire where yeah. there's a blue object that, in it. Yeah, 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 but I mean, listen, we, we don't know where that is with that, but if you're... Considering... There's also a theory that only the um, well, properties got have burnt down. The roads so are all intact. Yeah. It's like, it's, it's, it's like a blueprint to they, rebuild new houses. They can like change houses. the weather, yeah, yeah. they can shoot you with lasers... Um, but watch Joe Wicks for the next eight weeks so we can get some of that done. No cash, no more. You, we, we 74% control is going up to 94. That's what's happening. <laughs> watch this space. Extra 20% coming next six, six months. We'll be watching this two years on. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Imagine. We'll be in a little, it will be in a, we'll on. be in one of them fucking underground rooms and we're going, is anybody what, out that's, there? That's kind of where what we are now. Is anyone going to be out there? And you know what would happen is if, if there was a tragedy and then I came out, I'd be super, I'd be one of the geniuses. <laughs> Then we're off. Because there'd, yeah. yeah. there'd be less people in the world. Yeah. There'd be less people in the world. Oh, by odds. You'd be a genius by, by the law of odds. Luke's odds Thank as well. You, His percentages. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my percentages. Terrible math. <laughs> so we think, do you think the, so Ma the Maui fires, the Ma the Ma the Ma fires are a big conspiracy? Like I feel black, like black it's a tragedy to not rock. talk about the people that died because I think that's unbelievably sad. And I think that if it is, you don't want to joke about lasers yeah, re regarding that. But I do believe that whether the internet, everything is fake. So if I didn't see a laser going down on it, it but the, the the there's always an explanation that could be solved from these things. Like a burning boat could be the fact that the heat of the of the, the flames got so much that the petrol burnt in the boat near the water. Do you know what What's I mean? your view? That? A, because well, I just think it gets sensationalized straight away by the internet, so you haven't really got I a think choice. The problem with it, Luke, it's the inconsistency of the fires of how it's not spread and just destroyed roads like well, there might be yeah. 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 and flat might... and everything. It's just patches yeah it just the logic and i think as well you know with it with, it with every the climate crisis i always think this is where my bullshit meter goes right someone's talking to me from the government about climate climate crisis they're not telling me at the beginning they are not telling me when it's they're telling they've already sorted everything out anyone behind them yeah, yeah. they're not going let's tell everyone first to buy a house in hawaii <laughs> 
that's shall we? Yeah. No, they're going, listen, everyone, this is happening, this is happening, this is happening. And they're doing whatever they're doing right now. So while we're talking about it, we're all getting fucked. Do you not ever find stuff what I found? I've seen this climate change stuff on the news of the day. And when it starts getting speaking about, things then appear to happen quite a lot. Mm. Do you know yeah. what I mean? So like they prime always, you for it. They pr- yeah, they yeah. prime you for it, like yeah. with anything with the government. And that's why... Yeah, you feel I, it gets leaked out. Yeah, it gets leaked something. out. There's drop a couple of little snippets. It's almost there, like a then, script, isn't it? A script, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, stuff like the why happened, you're like, well, you have been saying climate change... So consciously, they're sticking it into your brain. The, that's what I'm getting but at. But they're wanting so, you to believe that, though. But then you want to believe... Yeah, so that's why I feel like with any kind of event that happens, stuff gets leaked first. So or the government start talking about things, and then gradually... Things start happening coincidentally. Feels like we're in a bit of a TV show, though. In the last, like we we talk about our childhoods and everything like that. There wasn't many big news stories. You used to get like I remember my mum waking me up saying there wasn't. Yeah, that's a really good point. Mm. Diana died, and I was like fucking five in the morning, mum. You know what I mean? But it was a big story. That's a really good point. And and they were hit home those stories. As you remember them now, it's constant. Big story. Big story. To the point where like we're like we're going. Oh yeah, maybe there's lasers in space. What the (laughs) fuck? It's like we've got to a point in society now. I mean, it's, it's like I went into, weirdly enough, I'm going to go on a bit of a tangent here, but I went into a, You're not. a supermarket, <laughs> Lidl, and I walked in and there was a homeless person on the floor. I, I suspected was homeless. And he said, oh, can I have some money? And I said, um, no, he said, you've got any, any change? And I said, oh, no, I'll, I'll buy some food. And he was like, no, I want some money. <laughs> and I was like, well, I'll, I'll buy some food. Choice. Yeah, it's not your choice. Well, what are you going to do with the money? And he was like, who are you, my financial advisor? <laughs> and I went, get this guy on. Yeah, and I just thought, well, if I was, you should fucking sack me, mate, because you're outside there. But on the same breath, I was like, mate, I'll buy some food. He didn't want it. He basically told me to fuck off. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> the next minute, this, this guy came in, huge, huge guy on a, on a, on a chair. And listen... On one of them bikes, if he was a scooter, on a scooter, yeah. And, I'm sorry, mobility scooter. And he was yeah. arguing with a staff member because they didn't have big chocolate balls in aisle two. And this was all going on in a couple of minutes of me walking into this place. And nobody, everyone walks past. And I just think as a society now, we've just gone fuck it. Who cares? No, nobody talks about anything. Nobody says anything. Nobody points anything out. Nobody's. Everyone's afraid to say someone's wrong or someone's. Is this wrong. a UK thing though? That's what I'm saying. So I can only talk on that opinion and where I am. So I'm only saying that's my <clears throat> opinion of where I walked. But... What do you think, Joe? You know, when we went to Italy and stuff for the wedding and stuff, did you pay attention to people? Did you think they have the same outlook? Do you think they've still got the traditions? Like what? Uh, Italy's a very conservative country, so it's very right-wing. Most of their political parties are right-wing. Right yeah. It's definitely getting a little bit more left in the younger generation, but not a lot, only in like, the major cities. Yeah. So they're very pro kind of like family tradition um and they're more likely to speak out there is an issue with italy though where in the sense of like <clears throat> the workforce in italy now the reason why italians live here is because um we, if you go to get a job most people haven't got employment rights unless you work for the government people that want zero hour contracts shit pay and you can get away with it still a bit like here in the 60s yeah. you know the 50s and 60s or whatever um so they're yeah, they're very different but i think their culture but i think it's um it's a very western problem the way like what you're talking about like the, the way we're mm. behaving now like mm. you know the, the mad stuff that's going on and we're okay with it well, the government okay are paying you to live like <clears throat> you know a middle eastern countries now in the future <clears throat> they're going to be the most attractive places to live they are um look at saudi arabia and what they're doing over there and qatar and you know dubai the emirates basically you know it's safe you're not going to walk down the street and get stabbed because you know, you zero can't zero tolerance. Isn't zero it? tolerance. Uh, you know, if you murder someone out there, it's a death penalty immediately. Like they don't mess about. Not here. That's why <laughs> a lot of people on the run all over the world go to Dubai because no one's going to go out there and kill them. No gangsters. A lot of people like who've been That's in trouble before. Mm. Okay. No one's going to go out there and kill them because there's zero tolerance out there. Mm. So they're safe. Yeah, it's so safe out there. Well, yeah, but you, you don't get that safety here. There's people hanging around every street corner, here, stabbing people and all sorts. Yeah. So why would that be promoted? And they have zero tolerance around um, some of these liberal extreme left views that are going on. Like They want to keep things conservative. I'm not saying it's perfect out there Mm. because it's really strict in comparison to why we live. Like you can't drink. Uh, The women with, uh, you know... Human rights are a a big thing as well. Uh, In Saudi Arabia especially, Mm. um, there's human rights issues there. So... I think in the future, though, mm. I think they're trying to change. I think, I think they're going to change. Do you think it's yeah. a woke society then in this country? The 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 not being able to point out somebody's somebody's. I mean, when we was at school, you would you would get harshly judged, and and, and some poorly, and some not good. And it's not it's not it's never good to have been bullied. And and the, I think I used to hate bullies. Bullies was one of them them aspects I used to look at. But people was a lot more harsher. You would say, yeah, yeah, and and and, and it's strict. Did, you, 
Uh, you know, you get the cane at school, don't you? Yeah, yeah. So that kind. Of, do you think having that helped, or do you think now this sort of we've gone to the other extreme now, haven't we? We've gone to the point where we can't say <clears> anything <throat> about. You know what I mean? If you, if you talk about transgender, you can't say it. I mean... The reason is, is because we think far too much of ourselves. Uh, it's almost like, you know, we should be free to make our own decisions and change genders and, you know, let everyone do but what think, they want. I think but actually, should... kids being raised, and even as young adults, like, we yeah. need an element of discipline, boundaries. And control and boundaries. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. We are, in essence, animals. <clears throat> and there is a savage part of our brain as human beings, mm. or a pr uh, primitive part yeah. of our brains that needs that control. And I think if you don't put structure and discipline into any any fra fraction of society, it's not going to function. What, what if then? What if they, they didn't? So on a thought process of the fact that you just you just left children to their own devices with care and attention, and they just found their own community. You think that they wouldn't be able to acknowledge that without? They, they would need discipline. They would need being taught. Well, there's a psychological part of that that you're missing out because human beings are born after nine months, so they're actually born at a point where they still need what you call paternal investment. So a shark doesn't need its dad around. Mm. It needs its mum for a very small amount of time, it's sound, right? Um, humans need paternal investment, which is why we've evolved the way we have to form communities and families. And there's a psychological part of when a baby has both parents present, its own development um, is, is improved. So would you say then our so, culture splits that family up though? Uh, but this is what I'm saying. So the family unit on a child's development is massive. Mm. And that's that's backed by and decades not, of and research. We're, and we're not we're not we're not promoting that in this country no. anymore. No, we're not promoting that. In fact, we're 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 discouraging that in this country. And what we're doing is we're trying to create a culture where um they've men and women are competing and, and women <coughs> want to have been told that they want to be like men, right? This is a you know, and and yeah. be the same as us, but Actually, they 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 they're, they're, they've got amazing parts of who they are. Huge, Don't try and be a, part, do yeah. and it's shit being us yeah. sometimes. Yeah. Like it's not all good. But also, you know well, I mean? it's, it's, fast, but it's it's both. But if both people are trying to to go for the same job, like it's like with jobs in the house. Pick your best jobs. It don't have to be women roles. or men. Pick your best roles. Play, play, play into your yeah. strength. Play your strength. And I think I think we're promoting feelings too much over facts. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, like. Yeah. I agree that you should share your, th your feelings and your thoughts and there's certain scenarios in your life that you need to, but I think everyone's feelings matter and I think that overweighs a fact. Does yeah, that make sense? and it shouldn't. Yeah, and then I ask myself, where's a woke generation come from? It must have started from a gap in society. You don't take information in if you're offended as well. No, but where's a woke society come from? Where, Social well, media it, could no, be a massive... No, no, it's, 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 people, it's come from somewhere. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, there's, a, there's a niche or it's there's great. a market. There's, 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 no, there's no, an I, element where these people have felt like they've had to then come it, together and speak out and they feel the same for some reason mm. because of society. It's grown from the civil rights movements that's happened in the past. Okay. So if you look at places like America, you know, black people had to fight for their civil rights. Yeah. <clears throat> but even then when they got, you know, they went from slavery to being freed, but they had no rights. Now they've, then they've got more rights. They've had to fight all that time. Yeah. And even once they've got all that rights, they've had a lot of oppression they, and prejudice behaviour towards them. Therefore, the fuel to always want better and more respect is, is always there. And it's not just with race. Yeah, but it's with people with, um, you know, inequality, people that are being oppressed, people who live in poverty. But it's always going to be something. Yeah, but, but, but wait, what I'm saying is, that's always going to be them. But now they're starting to talk up. And that's where it's come from. People, people talking about their disadvantageous position that they're currently in. That's where the yeah. work culture's come from. And it hasn't stopped. It's gone from being actually... Um, Okay, so women's rights was a real thing that needed to be addressed in the 50s, right? Yeah. Feminism was actually important for a time. Yeah. It really was because yeah. women didn't have the rights that they should yeah, have because yeah, yeah. they, they were equal to men. It's progression. So it's actually peaked, hit exactly where it wants it, it should be. Women have now got the rights, but it's carrying on mm. to supersede more rights at the expense of men. So what you're saying then, them examples you put out there, they're genuine things that need to be addressed. Mm. But because we've hit a peak where we're getting better and yeah. society's getting to a level... There's an element of where yeah. it's been took a through. Yeah. <clears throat> Why? Where's where's them feelings come from from these this woke generation? Is what I'm getting. It's not at. about the feelings because everyone has the feelings. Well, so they, about, they've, they've so when it's first started, then someone was just like, right, everything's <clears throat> fine now, but I'm just going to well, continue no, get, this." But I'm saying is the, that these, this woke generation have got feelings and thoughts of why they want yeah, because society because to go they, a different they, way. They made yeah. an illusion. Why? What? Why well, have they got to that? Because what drives that? Yeah. What drives that? Because what the examples you put there of race and colours? Yeah, hundred percent. Because it was and equal and then feminist yeah there's a definitely a, a problem that was need to be identified the woke generation 
where where's the initial spark yeah. of the problem? Where's the, well, I don't see it a, hasn't. It's evolved. It's evolved over time. I don't think it has. Okay. All Internet, politi- listen, Internet's made it worse. Internet's made it. Um, yeah, it's yeah lo- social it's media and, and 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 made it. And it's allowed a, a everyone. Serious but it's problem. allowed everyone to get offended. And the minute yeah. you get offended, then you don't listen. So the thing is, it, 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 it if it's someone's it not back, listening, no one's answering any questions. I think it goes back to the discipline and how we manage our children. And the distractions of social media. I'd stuff. agree and with I that. I think people yeah. or, or children family. are breaking up breaking families. Up families. Like, yeah, breaking made, up families. Up family I think it's a feeling-driven thing. Yeah. Of not being, for me personally, you know, you look at certain people that walk down the road and they dress a certain way, or you know, I'm not going to go into detail, but no, go on. you do that for attention. Like surely, like you on an average day, you probably don't feel like you walk down the street, no one pays attention. But yeah, all of yeah. a sudden, this yeah. woke generation. They are being paid attention to, and they dress a certain way, or they believe they're a certain way, or they think they're a male or female. And all of a sudden, now they walk down the street and they get attention. Yeah. Now, a lot of these people didn't have attention in childhood because obviously their parents were. Sp- There's numerous outcomes yeah. or variables, but what I'm saying does it stem from the fact that the way we monitor our kids now, look after our kids, and yeah. you know, I don't think we should smack them or you know the cane at school. I think that was all a bit far fetched, but we've almost unleashed the gates to the point where we let them get away with everything. Yeah, hundred percent. And it's like I now agree, yeah. children are feeling it's like they've let, learned to have reward bad to behavior. Children, go off and do what you want to do. Yeah, and you know we're not going to discipline you anymore. And now they're like, oh well, we don't actually what to do with this, and now yeah. we're lost. And yeah, you're not actually giving us any attention because we're too busy with work and phones and social media and do you see what I'm saying and yeah. all that now is made children feel like they don't get any attention and now they're trying to find it by well there's this, negative this, attention this, isn't there yeah. movement of attention, attention. but there is a, poli- I mean? there's a political like, issue that's there as well how I, I see where it's came from it's, it's, I mean? it's being um, bred in the universities okay so education establishments all over the world are yeah. breeding this they're pushing it onto students yeah, so it's and been pushing, educated to yeah. our... so there is a there is a there is an element here of um um, how do we disempower society? Like, how do we keep them disempowered? And <clears throat> one of those those things is is to cause these issues, mm. to cause people to argue. Because as long as we're arguing with each other, we're not. They're getting away with what they want to get away with. Can't can divide. Who, there is, who, there is, who's causing them? Sorry, who's causing them? Do you think? Well, I, I, I think whoever is actually in charge. We know that's not governments. It's probably more likely corporations who are the ones who want to the biggest shareholders. The big, yeah, the biggest yeah. influence on how society operates. They, the last thing they need is really empowered men, for example. Yeah. I mean, that's not what they need. And, and mm. they don't want, they want, if they disempower you, they can do that through, it's divide and conquer. Yeah. It's making sure that we're arguing with each other. As long as I'm arguing with that guy over there about our ideologies. Uh, left and right. Uh, left, or up and down. Up and down. Or up and down. <laughs> but what you're saying, one. I agree with that kind of stems back to the point that, has that been started somewhere then? Potentially. Potentially. And I agree with you. So, but I think social media and, and the prevalence of this mental health culture that we're in is like what you said is fueling it it's fueling it but I think, I think but the thing is with the, with the everyone saying all, all different types of, of rights and, and, the, and the list goes on but human rights is the only one that really is important for everyone and then the, the rights of different people's opinions and how they want to dress is up to them and how they want to live but I mean I'll tell it I, I, I was going to think about I mean you try and look at Thailand I've been to Thailand a couple of times I love Thailand and um, they've got a lady boy culture Allowed to call it lady boy, they're all completely okay with that, and they they just they just exist in a plane where they they just they just feel like they feel they want to do that, and it's not frowned upon, and they they make they they they're allowed to do what they want. They they live a culture of live and let live. They don't do anything in any way. But here, I feel like we're all afraid to sort of something is different. Yeah, but do they do that by choice or do they do that because it's big business? No, they they do. I was about to say families. I suppose they They send people out working. Well, it was if they didn't have girls to then generate uh, money in villages and stuff. I suppose they they said, "Oh, well, you need to bring an income to the family." You've digressed from the from the core bit of the issue that you talk about. I always do. Yeah, because (laughs) this is about and you talk about human rights. You're absolutely right. But actually, another thing that's really important is the um, the sustainability of democracy. And I don't. And I think most people don't actually appreciate this because they don't understand it or where it's coming from but in order for a nation to meet uh, the democratic level that we're at now a lot has to happen a lot of people have to die to sustain it is really hard and we've you know Britain have been at the top of the economic um, the democratic index since the 50s like we've been right up at the top and to get to that point um, it takes a lot now woke culture is now the, the biggest problem for me is not what people wear, it's the censoring element of mm. what they're trying to do. You can't say that about me. Right? You can't have that view. 
And uh, uh, Robert Kennedy Jr. said the best thing the other day. He was like, in all of human history, the ones doing the censoring have never been the good guys. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it's always the bad guys in every war. In every Woke conflict. culture leads to fascism, hundred percent. Right. Yeah, this is, and, and this is the point he's making. That's never happened before. So the biggest threat is censorship. And even my kids now know they, they, they're like, oh, I can't say this, or yeah, I can't say yeah. that because of what they're learning in schools. And the problem with that is, is that democracy is built on free speech. Mm. And now the word free speech is being labelled and stigmatised. Mm. You know, oh, you want free speech, do you? Yeah, we should be able to talk about whatever we want. Without you being you offended, think they're trying to turn the yeah. turn the the spectrum. Then, yeah, it's democracy it's not, no. and they're trying to you yeah. know yeah. Yeah. suppress yeah. people. Mm. And yeah. how know. can you have a sense of conversation from two different groups without the risk of offending each other? Yeah, yeah, it's a got, part of discovery. Yeah. yeah, and and I think as well, you don't necessarily have to offend somebody when they realise that they're trying to get to a point. Yeah, you don't have to be offended if you're trying to explain something that somebody wants to understand. But I think the word offended gets pounded about now like it is just just something that everyone's allowed to achieve. It's up to you to be offended. Yeah. It's your own opinion and your own feeling to be a you can choose not to be offended. Like Danny said earlier, it's offense doesn't change fact, does it? You that's can't the, that's the big thing. Yeah. I would like um to, to say if someone is out there listening to this going, you guys don't know what you're on about. <laughs> Actually, no, we would love you to come on. Yeah, yeah. please come on to this podcast, sit here and educate us. Um, on, on woke culture and why it's important and why our views are wrong. And let's... Um, they won't let's, be able to get me on percentages. Let's, no. Sorry? They won't, they won't get me <laughs> on percentages. They would, they would never get never you get on you percentages, percentages, mate. They would... Mathematics. Danny doesn't know this, but I um, went to um, uh, Educating Idiots HQ and found a letter I put the other week. Okay. And they wrote in, and it's on uh, the Joel episode. And then I uh, nipped in uh, to feed, to, well, to get the cat letter out. And I uh, found another letter. I'll, I'll read it out. We've so, basically got some fans. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. so, so the first letter was on the Joel Morris episode, it which was, I believe yeah. is episode Go back twelve. And watch it. I think it's episode twelve. So, um, a lovely lady called Judith wrote in, okay. and it was just about uh, discussing a problem that she had with her husband Jeff. Okay. Um, and we tried to answer it, and I, and I think, let's see what she's got to say. <laughs> lovely handwriting. I love this. this. Okay. Dear boys, thank you so much for reading out my last letter. Hearing your advice really helped me out. The next morning, I noticed Jeff had got up early and started cleaning the house very loud. I didn't want to disturb Jeff, so I stuck my headphones in and banged on the old iPad. Women's semi-final were due to kick off and uh, off, and I thought, lovely. Yeah, thought lovely. <laughs> Jeff came upstairs and said, a sultry good morning, and I proceeded to deep clean the bedroom. This seemed to make Jeff happier, so I turned over, whacked up the volume, leaving Jeff to it. My problem, boys is as I was trying to watch the end of the game, all being it struggling as Jeff had decided to turn the mattress just after half time, a WhatsApp message popped up, the Palazzi's WhatsApp group, with two tickets spared to the next home Man City game. I snapped these up, as my mum is a massive fan. I need some advice due to the dates being Jeff's best friend's 50th. Normally, I would always support Jeff, and even though it would be full of his friends, Jeff's also aware that, unaware that I've discovered all of them calling behind his back. Nevertheless, I would be there to support him. <laughs> But this is a rare ticket, so please, boys, how do I explain to him that I want to go? Thanks, Judith. Oh, well, I'm glad the advice helped you, Judith. Um, Basically, Jeff's been a bit <clears throat> controlling, or is that too strong? I think we tried to allure from the fact, but we, uh, we, Judith is a, seems like a lovely lady, um, just trying to live her life, and Jeff seems to come across a little controlling. Okay. So uh, the, the last one, he basically had a go at her because she'd been out on a Pilates night and had a few too many. Okay. Even though he said it was all right, he's a bit like contradicting. Well, he's, okay. Yeah, he's contradicting. He's, he, I think we could say Jeff's got double standards. But um, <laughs> Sorry, Jeff. <laughs> sorry about that, Jeff, but you need Does some Jeff truth, watch? Jeff. Yeah, well. Uh, we don't know. We okay. hope not. Okay. Um, yeah, so obviously he's gotta, she's got to try and let, Jeff know in a bad mood that she wants to go to this, but it's Jeff's best friend wedding. So, okay. what would you do? What would your, your advice to um, Judith be? Right. Okay. So she wants to go to the what the the, the <coughs> Man City game. Yeah, with her versus, mom. With her mom. Popped up on but the it's Jeff's days. best mate's fiftieth. Best, best mate's on the same date. Has Jeff already booked the night in? I that's think that should question. be a standard yeah, that's rule. That's a good question. Do that's my standard rule. Yeah, like, yeah. Whoever so gets it first yeah. is in. Yeah. Yeah. If it's in the diary, it's yeah. gospel. You, yeah, can't, no. you, you can't really challenge it if it's in the diary. I yeah, think. I agree to that. Well, if it was a really good ticket, so. 
because the, the, then it can what come back on. What time's kick-off what time is the party <laughs> start? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if we can do both. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm sure normally kick-off's free. You get to a party for seven. Wear your best hat to the football and then run <clears> straight would, to the Would though, trust that if she's gone to the match She's not going to have a few too many. If, if, they, if really they win, is, she's yeah, going to get happy, is she, isn't she? Is she after the other night... Yeah. After the other night, yeah. she yeah, Judith. She's on the train. I think yeah. then Judith has got to go to the wedding, even though uh, Jeff's mates are bitches. Uh, uh, only if it was in the diary. Though. What wedding? Uh, his best mate's 50. Oh, oh, best mate's 50. Yes. oh, sorry. I've only just read it. I've <laughs> 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 I no fucking idea. Is that what he said? Yeah. Oh, he's 50th. Be- be- best mate's 50. 50th. Yeah. Oh, you can fuck that off the football. Yeah. Can't you? 50th? Best mate? What? So. If I if it was your fiftieth birthday, yeah, and I was invited, yeah, and I was booked in, I and then my game. wife, <laughs> no. no, but my wife had football tickets. What, I would, would care actually if Danielle came more than you. I'd rather Danielle come than you go football. <laughs> 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 but yeah, I think on the on the scheme of it, Judith, I think um, nurse that hangover. Uh, Who's a reasonable one here, Jeff or Judith? Like, should Judith be even doing it? I think I think Judith has got to go. I think I think listen, it's got to go where. But so here's the thing, though. Jeff. It's it's Judith Jeff. is clearly scared to have the conversation, which is why she's wrote in. Oh, and that's listen, not very there's nice. mass problems within their relationship. But you I know was just mean? about to say that if you can't have a sensible conversation around, you can do both or one or the other. Then so communication is key. Communication, communicate. Is key. again, that's what we said last time. Yeah, yeah. We keep saying that communicate. Yeah. But also, it does we we do need to know if it's booked in the diary. I don't think she's That's can the go. key thing. Yeah. If, if if Jeff's already got on his on top of his game and he's gone, right, save that date. It's my best mate's 50th. We're going to Because you can it. hit you back in the face when you've got something booked today. They can then go, well, yeah. Yeah. Also, like I say, what time's kickoff? Can you do both? Yeah. Is it on yeah. Sky? Can compromise. You watch it on Sky, yeah. Yeah. the party. Bit yeah. of a compromise. Yeah. On the I mean? phone. <laughs> You're looking right. at me thinking, thinking, no, she should fuck Jeff <laughs> <laughs> to the football. No, I don't. I don't. I honestly, my opinion in this one is that y- you, you should uh, support Jeff. It really is. Support Jeff. Go there. Um, be nice to his friends. You know what I mean? Mm. They, they, that's just, just probably... She was saying don't go to the friends. football, go to the party. Yeah. But exactly. if you're going to the party, go to the party. Don't half be at don't the party. Yeah, don't the party. have a yeah, no, yeah, sour no, face. That won't go face. down well. No, no. 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 You know, you're right. Not saying that you would do that, Jeff. Go and get absolutely larrupsed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> larrupsed. And then make him wish he hadn't invited you. How about that? And then she said, should have gone to the football, shouldn't I? And then do that. Get yourself an Amazon sticker, watch what you're up to. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Well, yeah. yeah, if you need any more advice, you this along the way, you know the uh, postcode. And anyone else wants to send a letter, it's... Um, I if don't you know. don't go, I'll have the tickets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, send them in. Judith. Send them tickets and I'm definitely... We'll have the tickets, Is it Forrest, please? Mansi? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, it would be, wouldn't it? Well, yeah, it well, like if that's the, the case, then... Um, I couldn't read game. the accent through the letter, so I'm not sure where Could she is from. Okay, fair enough. We should write it back to him too. Yeah. Well, in fact, Judith, next time, will you tell us where you're from? Put a return and a message on it. Yeah, whatever you do. Or email Judith. <laughs> Fucking hell, it's the 20th century. <laughs> it's not the 20th century. <laughs> <laughs> when I said it, when I said it. <laughs> it was close. Uh, I was a century out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, he was. That's what I'm like with my percentages. Anyway, on that note. Anyway, Danny, I've just got a few questions to ask you before oh, you go. Quick, quick fire. Quick fire. Quick so, fire yeah. Ooh, bum, bum. Quick as you can. <laughs> Answer them as fast as you can. And right. just be honest, okay? Go. Okay, number one. Big or two pack? Ooh. Uh, quick, two quick. pack. Two pack, wow. Okay, two. If you could have a superpower for a day, what would it be? Mm. Quick, quick, quick. Go on, extra vision so you can perceive <laughs> the <information. laughs> All the money in the world. That's not that's a superpower. That's not a superpower. All it? the money in the world, man. Look at that, Jeff Bezos. <laughs> so, fly. Yeah, you fly. Fly. Yeah. fly. Okay, fly. 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 Okay. fly. Right, nick all the money. <laughs> and then nick all the money. Yeah, 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 yeah that'll yeah, work. Okay. Dinner party invite. Four people, dead or alive, go. <sighs> dead or alive. Mm. Uh, four, people. four people. God, this is a question. Um, Quick. <laughs> yeah, well, four. This people. is quick this fire. Is, yeah, well, the quick fire is normally like a, a yes, like a two is, pound is, biggie. Is, uh, yeah, now you're yeah. asking me to tell me. Like, four people. Right. And and what sp- starter? <laughs> what main would you have? Yeah. And is there any dietary requirements? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> quick, go. Quick answer. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, right. Four people that have a conversation. Four people. Like, uh, you guys. How's that? <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> right. Uh, do you know what? I know the answer to this. What's um, your go-to karaoke song? Oh, Gabrielle, dreams. Uh, <laughs> boobs or bum? Oh, boobs. 
boobs. If you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? Uh, my lateness. Oh, no, that's okay. Punctuation. What's the first thing you'd do if you had a time machine? Uh, what do you mean with the first time? I'd go back in time. <laughs> you'd go and back in, and not do what, the podcast. Go time. No, I'd go back in time. I'll you'd go back in time. Yeah, How I'm far? Fascinated. How far? to? 60s because one I love the music the soul music oh, and how okay. blokes dress in suits that presented themselves woman on the art you know the traditional you 60s at heart aren't you 60s at heart I like so, yeah, answer, fair enough, enough yeah I'd definitely go back instead of forward cool what makes you angry uh, how long these questions are I uh, know uh, how long the, uh, what makes me angry uh, when people don't wave when you let them through on the road <laughs> oh yeah a bit of road rage that. if you could live anywhere in the world where would it be not Hawaii. Not Hawaii. Not at the minute. Yeah. What's uh, going off? You got a blue house in a blue window. That was our song. Where would I live? <laughs> I feel 65. Uh, These are world rapid. These are world rapid <laughs> questions. <laughs> Daddy boy. Yeah, but they're not yes, in the world. Lose, are they? Uh, 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 somewhere we, uh, like Italy. I'm, I'm going like to have, have your back. They yeah. are not quick fire questions. They're not quick fire questions. <laughs> You've just got to answer them quick. quick thesis, did you do at university? <laughs> and write it down in 100 words. Look, if you do this again, quick fire question means you give me the answer so I can answer the question. Well, yeah, yeah, but I know, yeah. I wanted to change it up. I wanted to change it up. But I am... Forest or man, yeah. There you go. Yeah, they're the ones. But carry on, let's continue. Let's continue. Yeah, just slack his questions off. No, Jesus. Last one, name of where beginning with B. Ben. <laughs> I like it. That was quick, wasn't it? <laughs> I look at you like, wait for the last one, too. <laughs> Got you. That's a quick one. Thanks, Danny. No worries, mate. Last one, fellas. Can, Cheers, we, can we dub the bit out about my superpowers with all the money in the no, world? No, no, <laughs> way. no way. I've got, okay. and we're going to get an animation of you just flying with money. Mr. Back. Money Man. <laughs> I've come here. What to do? Nothing. I'm well, going to I just go thought to then I could do whatever I want whenever I want. That, that was the logic behind it. You can't it. fly. <laughs> or have x ray vision. It did change to fly afterwards, to be fair. Yeah. Evening, fellas. <laughs> Thank See you. Ya. See ya. Well, that was a good chat. Jeez, you see the time? We've nearly gone for two hours. Oh, no. <laughs>